morning. Happy Friday. I am super, super excited today. I wanted to vlog today because we've got some exciting delivery coming through and we've just got plans for this weekend. Usually every weekend we don't have any other plans at all, obviously because of the pandemic now we're all stuck at home, we're not going out. I am shielding, um, so I'm not going out at all. So we don't really have anything exciting except for this weekend. Because of the delivery that's coming, I want to sort out the nursery, so I thought it would be really, really nice to document everything. So I have something for my own keepsake and I wanted to take you along with it and share it with you too. I've been so excited for this delivery to come through today that I've been refreshing IKEA's page every hour since two days ago. I think I ordered this last uh, Sunday and it's coming through today on Friday. This is the earliest delivery I could get. But it's quite convenient because as it comes today, I can do it after work. I am working today. Lakshman is working from home, so he's going to receive the delivery when it comes. The delivery can come anytime between 7 to 7, but it's already 8 now. I've got about half an hour before I start work, so I'm waiting for their text or their email to tell me what time slot I've got today. So Lakshman's going to receive it and then I've ordered a few extra stuff, not just for the nursery, but for the house as well, because we're already paying for delivery. I thought I might as well get everything else that I need for the rest of the house. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing this weekend. It's not a full nursery, I'll explain later, but we're just rearranging stuff to fit into this house. We were hoping to move before the baby comes, but that's clearly not happening now. That's delayed for God knows how long. So we're trying to make do with what we can in this house and you know, just getting bits and pieces. I'm not buying too many furniture. It's only one chest of drawers that's coming. But everything else is like organizational stuff and you know, to try and fit everything in where we can. Okay, let me show you the before and the after. So as you enter, there's a huge wardrobe here that I've stuck a mirror to. And then this is our office site and there used to be a day bed over here. We moved the day bed out to the living room so we can use this as my changing um, area and feeding area and those sort of stuff. And um, Lakshman is charging all of his bits for later on. Yeah, all of those things needs to go out as well. We need to find a different space. And we've got this wardrobe here. I need to empty out that wardrobe and use that for baby stuff. This is what I'm dealing with in here. That's all of my camera equipment and my gear and stuff. These are all of our files. We need to declutter all of these things because we've got way too much there. And I've got my handbags in here. I've ordered a handbag organizer from Ikea. And we've got some extra coats and stuff here. Those are all baby things, gifts that I got from my family when we had a baby shower done that vlog by the time this vlog goes up that would have been up already and I'll put a link to it but I need to rearrange and organize all of these things I've been sitting and waiting all morning it's lunchtime now and I've just received a text from Ikea to say that it's coming between 2 to 3. Oh well, at least it's coming today. So something to look forward to tonight. I am going to take a lunch break now and then get back to work. It's just so busy, so busy. Yep, yeah. okay. See you soon. Thank you. <laughs> it's here, it's here, it's here. These are all my IKEA orders. So this one came in and then all of these things. They refuse to bring it up because of COVID and they're trying to be COVID safe. They don't come inside the houses. They just drop everything at the door and then we have to bring it up. So we just dumped it. It came right when we were finishing our lunch time. So we dumped everything here. Now we need to sort it out and organize it. Let me just show you in random order, okay? The big furniture, so I'm not going to pick it up now, obviously. Um, I'll show you once all of that is done, but I'll just show you some of the other organizational stuff that I bought. Most of these organizers are from the Scott brand. This is the one with triple colors, um, and it's a small organizational box. Oh, I didn't realize this was plastic. I thought this was cloth kind. Ugh, I bought it two of that. That's okay, that's to go inside drawers. This one is under the bed storage. It's also the Scott brand. It's a super huge one. And then this is a handbag organizer. This is the one. It shows that you can put five bags inside, but I think if your bag is smaller, you can probably fit two or three within one. I should have ordered two. I don't know why I only ordered one of it. And then I've got, what is this? This is a non-slip mat that goes under the rug. The rug I ordered from another shop called the rug. 
outlet, I think. I don't remember. That's coming in about three, four weeks' time. And then this is a bathroom mat. I would need a second bathroom mat for the family bathroom once we start. Um, you know, giving the baby a bath. I would need that one for that. This is part of the curtain rod thing. You know, the ends of it. Um, and I've got the curtain rod somewhere over there. I don't know where that is. We're not going to be fitting that today. Maybe not even this weekend. I will see when I want to use that. Um, artificial plant. It's a bit tumbled up. There's two of it along with this pot here. This wants to go in on our office table. And what else have I got? Oh, I've got some more artificial plants. This is probably the office table as well, or maybe somewhere else in one of those window ledges. I don't know where I will put that. Um, I was going to use this for a laundry bag because I know I don't have enough space in this house for an individual laundry bag for the baby. So I wanted to use this. I'll show you what this is when I open it and set it up when I find the place. So I'm going to use this. This has different compartments and you can hang it up so it'll be easier to separate the clothes before you put it into the washing machine. This is part of the curtain rod. This is also part of the curtain rod. These are all organizational stuff that goes inside the drawers. I ordered quite a lot of it. I kind of measured everything. This is the plastic one that I ordered, the second one. I ordered um, a lot of it because I wanted a lot. This one is the hem, the base of the curtains that you need to use. And this is part of the curtain rod. And that's about it for all of those things. I put a mirror there also. And then two side tables and one chest of drawers. And then I ordered something from Amazon to come for the nursery. I've got a lot of stuff, okay? By the time this vlog goes up, you would have already seen that I've uploaded two separate vlogs, I mean, two separate videos. One is a big ticker baby item and another one is a newborn essential. I spent so much time since November trying to finalize everything and then putting everything in the list. I basically use common sense to think, okay, you practically need this or you wouldn't need that. It's not necessary. Uh, it is not a must. It's not compulsory and that sort of thing. So I segregated everything according to different categories also. I'll leave a link to that video if you haven't seen that yet. I haven't ordered all of those items. I just want to stack out everything that I'm ordering because I feel like if you order everything to come at the same time, you are going to be overwhelmed. It's not going to fit you, uh, as in it's not going to fit your house, or it's just going to be so difficult to navigate your way through so many different things to try and arrange it. So the first step that I wanted to do was set up a nursery first and foremost. I needed the dresser for storage and, you know, kind of to plan where everything is going to fit in, where everything is going to go. Once I have that, I'm slowly going to order things. It's only February now while I'm doing this and I'm 30 weeks pregnant, but I want to take my time and do things slowly. I don't want to rush in the last minute and I'm already running out of breath now, so I don't want to leave everything to the last minute that I'm rushing and doing it and I'm not going to stop work so much more early also so I can't manage work and organizing everything at the same time so I'm just going to take my time to do that. This one is a wallpaper from Amazon. I will show you this tomorrow. I hope it works. I don't know if it's going to work or not but the review was really really good. I'll show you this tomorrow when I do that and this, I don't know what this is. Oh this is a label maker. I ordered a label maker because I've always wanted one and I'm like what other better chance have I got other than today to do it. So I've ordered that. The label maker hasn't come yet. That's only coming tomorrow but these label inserts have already come now so I'm going to keep these two for tomorrow. And I am going to try and fit. I'm not going to unpack any of these things. And I'm just going to leave it like this. We're going to try and unpack the other chest of drawers and start fitting that. last clip that you saw we have finally finished putting up the drawers it took about two and a half hours I want to say we started about seven in the evening after dinner and we finished about almost half nine we started off really really slowly but towards the end it finished very quickly I was helping out with you know some of the instructions and handing out the nuts and the bolts and the screws and everything and Lakshmi is doing the rest of it it wasn't too difficult. It felt as if it was a bit flimsy initially 
But once you fit the dresser and you put all of the drawers in, it was really nice. It looked so good and it was very appropriate also for what we wanted to use it for. I am just going to unpack all of these storage boxes and everything and try and fit it inside the drawers and arrange everything that way so that I can then plan how I want to put all of my things and rearrange everything once it comes here or when I order everything actually. Which reminds me about something about planning. Um, I was having a chat with my mom about two weeks ago, I think. I was telling her all of my planning and my dates and all that. I've got this whole schedule. First of all, my planning list itself, my new newborn list itself is so in detail. And I've got another planning schedule for order dates and delivery dates and everything so that I keep track of when things are coming. Uh, you know, so I don't forget when everything is coming or where I've ordered things from, where I need to order things from, just to make things so much more easier, you know, that's all. My mom was saying that I spend too much time planning and obsessing over it and I'm like, no, I love planning, I enjoy planning, I enjoy organizing. I just, it gives me so much of joy to do that. I can't even explain what it is, but it gives me so much joy. I would happily walk into someone's house and rearrange something if you ask me to. I love rearranging and organizing, especially when I see a mess or when I see something untidy. It's not that I'm judging, it's just that I itch to organize and arrange. I love doing that, you know? And these planning with the baby things and everything, it keeps me going, it keeps me excited. I, it's just, I find it really, really enjoyable to do that. Some people don't. Some people just walk in and buy things as and when they want to. But I feel like it helps me budget and it helps me organize and plan everything so much more easily and it makes things so much more smoother. Trust me, I'm telling you, it's really, really nice to do it. Um, but if you're one of those people who don't like doing it at all, then I can't help it. But <laughs> yeah, ultimately that's what it is. So once I finish putting all of these things away, I'm going to empty the wardrobe. So I showed that to you yesterday, I showed you how it looks like. I'm just going to empty it. I don't think we're going to have time to rearrange all of our files and sort out what we need to keep or what we don't. But I'm just going to put it outside in the bookshelf so that I can make space here. I hate to admit this but I might or might not have gone overboard with drawer inserts. <sighs> Let me show you what I'm dealing with. That's how many drawer inserts I've got. And all of those are just to fit into all of these drawers. I don't know if I would need that many or not, but let's try and organize this. Also, you know there was one that I was showing you last night and it looked like it was plastic. It's actually not plastic, it's just the insert that goes in here so that you can hold it in shape but everything else is that cloth thing uh, this one's really nice very easy to fit and it's a very good quality as well use half these coats and I've still not packed it away at all. <laughs> this was a Christmas gift and I forgot to put it back in the storage so it's sitting here I forgot knows how long. I didn't think sorting out the nursery is going to end up sorting out the rest of my clothes and my storage stuff and everything as well. But we need to move things around to make space so that I can use the entire room and the entire storage space 
for the baby things and all that. So I'm gonna cut all of these extra coats that I took out from that wardrobe into this huge storage box. It's part of that scrub uh, category from IKEA. I know I need to get rid and recycle some of these clothes but I haven't got the time to do that now so I'm just going to stuff it in, keep it out of the way and then I'll organize it another day. Okay, so that's all of my coats in here and I've got all of my handbags in here. With the climate that we are in now, we're definitely not going to be using all of these handbags, especially me. So I'm going to put some of the handbags in here and some of the handbags that I might change on a regular basis, I'm going to put it into this handbag organizer and put it in my wardrobe. a lot in here, I'm surprised. And I've got three more behind. Vlogging was such a fail yesterday. So was most of my plans. I don't even remember where I stopped talking to you yesterday but if I'm not mistaken, I think I stopped vlogging after we fit in that mirror behind. That was the last thing that I showed. And then I just got tied up with a few other things actually. You know how I was saying, I need to empty this room to make space for the nursery stuff. So I had to push things everywhere else in the house and it made the rest of the house become really really messy. And we've been trying to sort out the day bed in the living room also because we moved it to the living room. The bed sheet kind of didn't suit, you know, it had designs and everything. It looked really nice in this room, but the patterned bed sheet doesn't suit the living room. So I had to look for a different one. And because it is a day bed, I want to make it look like a day bed as opposed to a bed. So I didn't want to leave regular pillows. I wanted like big fluffy cushions on it to make it look really nice, like another extension of the sofa itself. So I was searching for a few stuff for it and I couldn't really find what I wanted. I want this jumbo pillows on it so that it's all stacked up nicely in the back and it's by the window. So it's going to look really nice that way. That's what I wanted to do and I was searching everywhere. But I couldn't really get anything delivered in time for next week. We've got a house viewing next week, so I want to have it ready before people come to see it. You know, presentation is more than half the work done, if you know what I mean. So I was looking at that and then I remember I showed you how I was stuffing all of my jackets and extra handbags and stuff in that um, underbed storage that I bought. I was going to do it much later in the week, but then I figured I might as well sort it out now and then put it under the bed rather than wasting time another day. So I unpacked it, I took out some of the jackets and coats that we were not using um, and got rid of that and then rearranged everything, got rid of that under the bed also. So that is sorted. And then when I took out all of the files from this wardrobe behind me here, I started arranging it in the bookshelf outside in the living room but I got extremely tired lifting it up, carrying up and down and bending down and putting it uh, in the bottom row and all of this stuff. So I ended up dumping everything right in front of the bookshelf. So I need to go and organize that now also. And then last night, see some rainbows behind? Those were stickers that I bought from Amazon. They are wall um, like decal stickers. I think it says it is easily removable and you can reuse it also but I don't know how strong it's going to be. So what we did last night, I wanted to kind of estimate how it was going to be. So I cut it out and then I stuck it to the wall with masking tape, kind of trying to plan how it looks like. I like it, I just want to change one or two um, rainbows in different places and then I'll stick that up. I am going to do that today. Um, it's almost half nine now. My service live stream starts at 11 o'clock, so I've got an hour and a half. I aim to finish this and oh yeah I need to de declutter one more um, one more shelf from this cabinet. I've got all of my camera equipment and everything in the bottom shelf. I don't have any other place to put it so I think I'm gonna leave that there but I just want to declutter it to make sure I know what I have and I can get rid of things that I don't need that doesn't belong in there basically. So I want to sort that out 
and hopefully put away all of the files and paperwork that's lying out in the living room in front of the bookshelf. Those are the three things that I aim to do in about an hour and a half and hopefully I will have that done. Um, oh yeah, this was another thing that I did yesterday but I didn't really record it. We went out to b &M because I wanted to get some bed sheets and um, pillowcases and no, not pillowcases, bed sheets and cushions for the day bed. It was such a disappointment because it didn't have anything at all. I was like, I was so frustrated. I couldn't find anything in BNM, couldn't find anything in Asta. Stores these days don't stock up a lot of stuff at all. It's just so difficult. And their online um, stock is not very accurate also. So you can't really rely on that. I am hoping Lakshman will be willing to take me to another BNM today to find some of those cushions. If I don't get it there, then I'm going to order another set of cushions that I saw on Danel. They've got one hour click and collect and there's a Danel very, very close to us. I didn't realize that yesterday. However, with Danel, I am compromising on the size. That's why I don't want to order that first. I still want to go to B&M and look for that cushion that I have my eye on because that's ideal and that's really what I want. So hopefully I will get to do that also. I'm most likely going to leave you here, put you on a time lapse while I saw that out. That's the first thing I want to do. And then I'm going to do my camera equipment and the bookshelves and I will speak to you soon. That's a finished product. I am super impressed with it. I didn't expect it to be this good. Let me show you close up. The quality is really, really nice. It's like shiny and it's got all of these colors on it. And you can place it wherever you want to. I am so pleased with the quality and how it's turned out. I really like it. I'll leave a link to this below. I bought it from Amazon, obviously. I saw it somewhere else, but then I ordered it off Amazon because it was going to come much quicker. Like I said, I've got Prime. I need things to come immediately. I haven't got a theme as such for the nursery because this isn't a full nursery. I don't know if I explained it or not. It is the office room and this used to be our guest room also but we moved the day bed out because I wanted an area for changing to keep all of the baby stuff in one place. The baby is going to be with me in the master bedroom obviously for the first six months so he's not going to be sleeping here at all but I don't want his things to be lying around in different rooms. So that's why I've moved everything about so that I can have everything in one place. my camera equipment then I sorted that box out properly all of my batteries and everything is in there my camera bag that's a drone that's my reflector and tripod and my microphone up there so it's only basic camera equipment and extra batteries in there that's all it is Mission accomplished! I've got a couple more minutes to spare for 11 but I am done. Let me show you what it is. It's not as perfect as I wanted it to be however it's so much more better than how much time I thought I had. So I'm gonna go for my service now for my live stream service and then I'll come back and continue later in the afternoon. Everything is finally done. I am so exhausted but I am glad it is done already. Um, the bookshelf is finished, I've rearranged everything. I still haven't sorted out the papers or gotten rid of the things that we don't need, but yet I managed to squeeze everything in the bookshelf and rearrange a few things so I've got more space for everything. So the bookshelf is done, the day bed is done also. I don't believe this, but I actually ironed the duvet covers and the pillowcases. I would normally never iron anything. I don't care about wrinkles and stuff, but it was just so obvious that it was annoying me so much that I needed to do it. I spent about a good half an hour to 45 minutes ironing that, but it looks so much more neater. I'm still waiting on a few more pillows to come. I ordered that from Danelm. I think it'll come tomorrow, but all in good time. So as you walk into the room on the right, this is the wall that you would see. That's the rainbow stickers that I was doing. And then the chest of drawers, which is going to be the changing table. And these are some of the organizers from IKEA. 
and artificial plants from Ikea. And then that one's the armchair that was in the living room that we brought down here. And if you've seen my 16 week private scan, you'll know where that kangaroo came from. That has a copy of our baby's heartbeat. So that's going to be the nursing area over here. And then if you turn around, this is the wardrobe that I had. I bought some extra storages from B&M. Um, it's empty for now, so there's room to grow. My camera equipment is going to stay there. I'm not moving it anywhere. These two ones, I got it from Home Bargain, I think. I went to B&M twice. I went to two different B&Ms to try and get it, but they didn't have it in stock. A Home Bargain did, and they did two for 25 as a deal. I was actually going to get one and then leave this space empty so I can put other stuff. Like There is one extra frame here. And there is another extra frame behind. I wanted to put that by the side and maybe some extra storage there, but I just got both and I put it in there. Um, everything is empty. These are the ones that was in the bag that I was showing you before I, you know, unpacked everything. We are waiting on a rug to come. I've already ordered it, but it's probably coming in about two, three weeks time. And I wanted to do something on this wall. I was going to put uh, some verses, but I don't think it will suit. So I might put up a frame over there. I'm just thinking about what to do over there. The nursery is not fully done as such. There's still bits and pieces that we need to do here and there. But I feel like this is the main thing out of the way. We've gotten a head start with how we want the nursery for now. And also, it's not a permanent nursery, so I didn't do too much. I wasn't a big fan of drilling too many things on the wall, so I didn't want to put up like frames and um, you know shelves and all of those decorative bits and pieces and I am never big on themes at all. I didn't want any kind of theme. The only thing I ever wanted was this rainbow. There might be a little bit of controversy about a rainbow for a baby boy's nursery. First and foremost, the babies are not going to be aware of anything you do and put for them. You know, whether it's a nursery, whether it's your clothes, your extra accessories or, you know, the travel kits and the big bundle items that you buy or whatever it is. We do it because we adults want things convenient for us when we're taking care of the baby. Uh, whether you want quality, you want like, you know, you want something to look nice in pictures. That's especially what it is for nursery, isn't it? You want to take nice pictures for your own album or to share on social media with your friends and your family and everything. It's not really for the baby, it's just for us, so I'm not big on that at all. But the rainbow means a lot to me. The rainbow is a sign of a promise that God made to Noah um, when the flood destroyed the earth at a point and he said never again will he um, allow water to destroy earth. This baby is a promise to us. It's not like we were sitting and praying for the baby. God had promised us and we were waiting for that promise to be fulfilled. I shared a little bit of my testimony in my baby shower video and I put a link to it if you wanted to see it. Because it is a promise, the rainbow is a sign for us to remember that this is God's promise to us. Ever since the day we found out that we were pregnant, I've seen so many rainbows ever since then, so it's a reminder for us. A lot of people say that this is a pandemic baby and, you know, this is a lockdown baby, quarantine baby and all of those things. I get that it is just a joke. I can take a joke, okay, sure, that's not a problem at all. But I'm not going to allow the pandemic to take all the glory for what God has done for us. If anything at all, I think the pandemic has come in time in between God's plan for us and you know the year that it has happened and everything it's not the other way around at all so that's why i wanted the rainbow as a reminder that this is god's promise to us so that's about it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and i really hope you liked it if you have any ideas or suggestions uh, leave a comment down for me and i will have a look at it if you found anything interesting i hope you uh, took away some ideas from this as well and i will see you again in the next one Take care. Bye.